and welcome to our show, Geeks Ride Podcast, where we talk about video games, movies, TV, comic books, technology, and TLDR, the Internet of Things. I'm your host, Bill, and we have the other host, Anthony. Oh. And you can email us at geeksride at gmail.com, or you can text us or leave voicemail at 801-896-4335. It's also 801-896-GEEK. Where we can answer your questions on the podcast, or even just respond if you want. We may even read it. Actually, I read it. We may, re- if you want, we can read it in the podcast for yep. the listeners. Tables. Just uh, mention if you want that. Yeah. And you also can help support us at patreoncom slash wired where you also get the podcast early. So I want to jump into the the Halo. Amazon? Yeah, the Amazon Halo. <laughs> You're right, not the Microsoft one. Although I would argue the Microsoft one's way better. But <laughs> So a couple of, I think it's two or three p- episodes ago, I talked about the Halo that I got. The Halo band? Yeah, the Halo band. Um, I like the band, like the, the actual like band that goes around my wrist. Mm-hmm. The device, not so much. <laughs> Because basically at some point it said my mic was muted all the time. And so the tone part's not even working. That's the whole reason why I got it. And I was following the instructions on how to unmute it. wasn't ever unmuting. And so like the last like week it hasn't been mo- monitoring the tone. And I think I finally got it unmuted. But I'm done. <laughs> you just don't trust it. It's not that I don't trust it. It's just that's the whole purpose of me getting it. Well, you don't trust that it's going to keep working. Yeah, and I would just rather use my Fitbit because I have other stuff that's in that ecosystem, so I may as well just stick with it. Yeah. So what I'll probably do is keep this on and then order some, because I do like the cloth bands, so I'll probably just order a cloth band for the Fitbit that I have and then probably one for my Apple Watch too. But cloth bands are good. I've heard people have issues with like their exercise. Yeah, for exercising, you want to use the sport bands, but for cloth. For the rest of the day. For yeah. not swimming. Not, uh-huh. not shower. Do you wear your in the shower at all? No. Okay. Though, this is the Halo is, the Halo band is waterproof, and the Apple Watch is also waterproof, so I could, but that's usually, like, when I'm showering, that's whenever I charge these things. Yeah. So, and for my Apple Watch, that's usually fine. Sometimes I have to top it off a little bit towards the end of the night or whenever I go to bed for a little bit, just because this thing is like two or three years old now. Yeah. The watch, the Apple watch. And I keep putting off getting the new one. So eventually. Yeah. If I quit buying other big ticket items, <laughs> would, would one of those big ticket items be a MacBook pro? Yeah. <laughs> one of them. It was so more money than the monitor was that I just bought, but only just. So what made you decide on the MacBook Pro? Have you seen the performance reviews for the M1 processor? I've been hearing about them. They 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 sounded like they were good. So, they, But not good enough if you have the last gen Pro to justify the upgrade. Like they're good, but not... But if you're if you are still... if you Depends on what you're doing. If you're a couple years old... Like you are. Yours is a couple years old. That's Yeah, I think it's five years old. I, yeah, think, my, so I think I have a 2015 Air. So yours is a, a good time period to do that. Uh, it was a good time period like three years ago. Yeah. Uh, no, you've been enjoying it. I mean, it's fine. It works fine. Yeah. The resolution's always been kind of low, but yeah. Um, well, for, so for certain tasks, so for video editing, mm-hmm. this thing blows like Mac Pros out of the water. Ah. Uh. With, like, okay, it doesn't blow that. Like, it competes pretty well with them. Yeah. And certain tasks, it actually performs way better. And that's on something that's, at least for the Air, because they were doing, a, like, well, the ones I was watching, they were doing a lot of the stuff on the MacBook Air. Yeah. With the 7-core GPU, I, mind you. I was hearing the Air is, like, so if you don't want to spend the money on the Pro, that the Air is a very good option still. Yeah, and it depends on what you want. So the Air doesn't have touch the touch bar, which some people hate, some people like that. 
I've never had it, so I wanted to try the Touch Bar. So that's one the main reason why I went with the Pro. But the Pro also has like three like three extra hours for the battery life because mm-hmm. it has a much bigger battery because it's not wedge shaped, mm-hmm. so they can fill up the front with battery, whereas they can't on the Air. But um, other other things that are different, like the Pro has a fan, the Air does not. The Air is just passively cooled. It doesn't need the fan. Yeah. Like, on all the performance reviews I was seeing, even when they were maxing out the Pro, the fan just barely kicked on. Like, you can barely hear it. And nice. you have to put your ear up next to it to hear it. It's not like the... Like, whenever they were doing the same test on the Pro 16-inch, the fan would kick on, like, after, like, a minute, if if not that. And it was, like, just full of bore the whole time. Really loud. I guess it was. The and annoying. The Ultimate Pro? Yeah. So you decided to go just pro, not ultimate pro. Yeah, I got. I wanted the power to go, man. Yeah, they see. But, um, oh, so the the power, like I was saying, for the air, the air uses like ten watts, like even when it's fully powered up. I think it can boot. Think it can use up to thirteen, maybe. But that's it. So they're very, very power efficient, like yeah, in multiple ways. So. The only downside to them is that they can only support two screens, so and they they don't support clamshell mode, so oh. the laptops you can only have one screen, like external screen, which is why I got the big screen that I did, because <laughs> if I got two screens, because I got a super ultra wide, but if I got two screens to basically do the same thing, like two twenty seven inch screens, it would not work. Or you can get it to work, but one of them has to be display link, and then your CPU's driving the video. Like, it's driver-based, not hardware-based. That's not that big of a deal, but I just don't want to deal with that, so. Otherwise, they're basically the same. You can get the Air with a 7 GPU model or the 8 GPU model. Most people won't notice the difference, and so, like, budget Air for $999, it's a pretty good deal. Yeah. Considering what you get. And so I'm guessing where you you didn't go ridiculous. I'm guessing you didn't get the two terabytes of storage. No, I'm not that crazy. Did you at least get the 16 gigs of RAM? Yeah. Okay. Though most people don't need it. I did was hearing about that. But on the other side, is aren't these like onboard RAM, not upgradable chips? I mean, it's always been like that. It's been like that for the the laptops, at least for the last like five years. Okay. But... Even the minis like that now, but there's a reason for that. It's because it's all on inside of that chip, like mm-hmm. the SOC. Yeah. And because it's there, um, the GPU and the CPU and all the other, like, because it has neural cores too, they can all access the same memory, which is kind of a downside a little bit, but only a little bit in that the graphics can, like, it'd be nice if the graphics had its own, like, dedicated memory so it mm-hmm. didn't, like, hog all of it, but... It's usually the idea is that it's fast enough to where it you can actually use swap space, which is it's basic it's virtual memory that gets saved to your hard disk. Yeah. So it's the swap file yeah. and uh, the Max prior used it too, but the SSDs they have in there now are so fast that you barely notice it when it uses it. <laughs> From what that I've is, heard, yeah, I don't have mine yet to verify, but. Nice. So I got the 16 with the one terabyte. Good choices. Yeah. And I think I got the space gray. Not the aluminum. Or not the silver one. I like the space gray one. I guess I don't know what the difference between space gray and so aluminum. So people is. can't see this, but I have the, this is silver. My MacBook Air. Okay. The classic color. The classic color, and then space gray would be, like, the outside of my watch. Black. Ish. Black-ish. It's, li- oh, it's a dark I gray. See. I see. Okay, I was looking at your And screen. I think they yeah. call it space gray because it's me- metallic. Okay. I don't know, though. I've never really questioned that part till now. I think I've also heard the gunmetal gray or so, stuff like that on certain other devices. Yeah, on certain devices. It's not quite gunmetal, I don't think, but it's close. Yeah, and so yeah, they only support one screen, but that's not 
that big of a deal. They only have two USB-C ports, which is kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. And you'll have to keep the laptop open then, too. So You can close it. It just... Well, what I, what I meant by that... Pro, you, you can. The, the no, you can close them both. Oh. The thing is, is... So if you have an external display hooked up to it, what I, what I was meaning by that is you don't all of a sudden get the capacity to use two. You still can only use one. Ah. And that's a limitation on the M1 chip. I don't think they have enough... Because, uh, like, Intel chips, they had a lot of PCI Express lanes for doing stuff like that. Whereas the M1 chip, they don't have a whole lot. And people are thinking that they did that because... One, it's the first model, and they weren't sure how successful they might be. But on the other side, they're thinking that it was rushed, and that was one of the features that was uh, cut off. Like, they didn't rush it in, like, your most standard, like, software companies where they would try to get everything in, and then everything's just subpar. You mean, like, Apple usually does on the first gen, stuff like this? Mm. Apple has also been not the tr greatest track record on their first gen of their chips or the first gen of their major changes the only other thing i can think of is the ipad for that i, I thought the i don't include the home pod <laughs> <laughs> because that i think hardware wise it was fine it's just it was too expensive and people weren't getting it and it because of the assistant that's in it oh even the home pod mini the assistant that's in it's still not great yeah so while i was get debating on getting them because I think they're pretty cheap now. I don't know how much they are, but and they sound really good still for the size they are. Mm -hmm. But I'm still not going to get one, mostly because I have like all the other systems. five homes and then an Echo Spot. But um, is it yeah. Spot or Dot? No, so there's two. There's oh. a Dot and then there's a Spot. The Dot's the little thing, the the puck shaped one, which you have. Oh, I thought I had the... The spot oh, yeah. is the one with the circular screen that I have. Oh, okay. It's like a little... It's basically like a desk clock is what it, they try to make it go after. I don't use the screen hardly at all. And in fact, it's just showing the clock most of the time with a background that I set on it. Oh, reminds me about the assistance. Mm -hmm. So we had a power bounce. Well, we were we had a timer going on our Google Hub. Oh yeah. Just a moment enough mm -hmm. to reset everything. Did well, the I timer go away? We thought it did. Oh. It did not. It even kept time. Proper everything. We were very happy, very surprised. Yeah, I think my phone did that too. Because I think I set a timer for like. I think I was cooking something in the slow cooker. Yeah. Or. Um. But your phone, I'd expect to do that. Yeah, but the, it just, what I wasn't sure is if it was saving like when it started mm -hmm. and no. when it was supposed to go off or if it was like counting. The yeah. first way makes sense. Like you save it and then either save when it's supposed to go off. Like you save when it started and when it's supposed to go off mm -hmm. or you save when it started and you just the save amount of how, time the amount of time later that it's supposed to go off or you just calculate when it's supposed to go off and then just count down from there. So that even if it does restart, the timer will still be right. So we don't know how what it shows on that. No, but it it went off, but this power like I said, it was enough just to like wonk anything. So if it didn't actually like go, oh I'm supposed to be going off at this time, it ended up losing like three seconds well maybe okay i guess with restart and everything like maybe 30 seconds because the restart kind of was weirdly odd or li weirdly long like even for normal i was like this is kind of taking a bit it might have something similar to what uh um shoot oh like if your ps4 or xbox shuts off early yeah, it shuts off without it being properly shut down. I don't know if the Xbox does this, but the PS4 will basically, it'll force a disk check basically to make sure that you're not, it's not corrupted. Nice. And right. it'll yell at you every time that it gets shut off, even if it's not your fault. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of irksome, but otherwise it's normal. So I wonder, it was either doing something like that, or maybe there's something built into where if it knows that I was only shut off for like 
half a second, if not more or less. And maybe it has like some kind of weight in like art, like some kind of artificial weight just so it doesn't start booting back up. If the power is just going to keep flipping on and off. Mm-hmm. All right. I doubt it's that. I bet it was more just making sure that it's not corrupted, but I'm imagining for the clock and stuff, it has onboard memory. Yeah. So it's probably just saving it to that or at the very least saving it to your cloud. Okay. Um, yeah. The trash didn't make it to the trash can. Yeah, Mm -hmm. that happens. I lost my play toy. That's fine. I had it. I don't know where it went. Your pocket? Nope. It's fine. Um, Into the desk. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'll grab it in a minute. Yeah. All right. Um. Anything else on those you want to talk about? Yeah. Uh, the Mac Mini. All right. Going back to that. Is the cheapest Mac you can get right now, and the, I almost would I almost got one of those, but I wanted a laptop, so because they start at seven hundred dollars. No guts, no glory. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, it has. So the base model Air is the seven GPU one, mm-hmm. and the reason why it's seven GPUs is because so processors they have yields, right? This is like the lower end yield where they weren't able to activate all the cores. Like Intel and AMD do this too. Mm. Apple's not the only one. And so that's there people are thinking that's why they did it this way, but the I at the Mac Mini is just full powered. Nice. So there's two core models, the eight gigabyte and sixteen gigabyte one, and then your upgrades are your your storage basically. <laughs> And you can't upgrade that even. Mostly because I think it's all on the chip still. But with a desktop bound thing, it's a little less of a problem because you can just hook up an external hard drive and it's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Because it doesn't move really. So um, the other weird thing though is that the Ethernet's only one gigabyte, which for most people's fine. But a lot of people use these Mac minis in like server farms. Or... That they'll use them in render farms or something. And so they had an option, and they still do, I think, for the Intel one to get a 10 gigabyte one, a 10 gigabyte Ethernet port. Yeah. That's not an option on here. I think you can get Thunderbolt accessories that allow that to be an option. But I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. They've that done that too. type of stuff before. Oh, okay. But yeah, otherwise, it's the same thing. Like, they're all using the same chip. So. You're really just, like, with the Air and the Pro, you're going with thermals, and even then, thermals aren't that bad. Like, with the Intel ones, I think on the Pros, or at least with the i9s when they first came out, you could burn yourself, and they actually thermal throttled before they even got any good use out of them, so you could actually get a cheaper i7 and get more performance. No, oh. Because Intel's thermals for the i9 are just terrible. And Apple's... Uh, Thermal design isn't great either because <laughs> they want to make it slim. Yeah. It must look good. Oh, it's fine looking good. It's just you put design over, they put design over function. Yeah. To be fair though, the consumers are driving that if to indirectly. So, like if people hate it, they won't buy it. Mm hmm. Though with Apple, I guess that's a little different. Did they? I guess I wasn't paying attention. Did they actually do the trash can upgrade too? The Pro? Yeah, they had a different Pro for, I think, two years now. It's back to the. So the cheese grater. Ah, it's back to that one. Yeah, but it actually looks like a cheese grater. So go go look it up. Oh, I, yeah. It's not just like the old style, like G5s or the. They did make Intel versions of them too. It's the same form factor and the same idea, but. I see, yes. The grill is much different. The inside of them is super clean. I have a coworker who has one of these. Like for home stuff. It's not for work. But it's super clean. Nice. Like everything's all black. It's just it's it's cool. It's well built. It's you t- take a lot. The case off really easy. Mm-hmm. That's interesting, especially for an Apple. It's because this is for a different market. Yeah. This is for uh 
usually workstations, so like rendering and well, yeah, usually fi for people who are messing with Final Cut Pro mm -hmm. or anything else like that, they got this. I think it it's only has 28 cores of power. Yeah, it's because it's still oh. using Intel. If they were to use AMD, they could put an Epic in there <gasps> and could get 64 cores and 128 threads. Ooh. And if they allowed it to be dual socket, they could have 128 cores. Nice. But yeah. They can boost a lot, too. And they can get lots of RAM. Was that one the, like, the two terabytes worth? I think so. Customize it. You like doing this part. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. We just go buy it. How expensive could we make this machine? What's the difference? So one's rack mountable, the other one's your standard server. Just I pick the... I'm just yeah. picking the standard tower. I think it's more money, too, so... All right, going with the 28-core processor. $7,000 upgrade. Yep. It gives me see 2.5 gigahertz, 28 cores, Intel Xenon W processor, with turbo boost to 4.4. And they're hyper-threaded, so you, you get 56 threads. Ooh. And the memory only goes up to 1.5 for an extra 25 grand. <laughs> yep. 1.5 terabytes. The graphics. Let's see. An extra $10,800 for the Radeon Pro Vega 2 Duo with 2 by 32 gig memories each. Dang. 8 terabytes of solid state for an extra 2600 Get the afterburner. Apple after. What's that? It's basically a a render card like it's a, it, it's an accelerator for rendering ah it takes the load off the cpu like the gpus are for that too but there's a certain codec that i think by default apple uses software for yeah cuz it's i don't think it was built for the gpu rendering and the afterburner just helps you with that if my friend described that correctly that's how he described it to me All i right. haven't actually looked uh feet or wheels it should just stay no, get wheels. No. You want to make this be the most expensive you can get. But I also don't want to be goal. ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. Wheels are on your computer ridiculous. Mm -mm. Or ridiculous. I mean, I agree, but you're a whole goal. Whatever. <laughs> All right, fine. Get wheels. All right. Then uh, get the Magic Mouse 2 and the Magic Trackpad 2. Ooh. That was an extra 150 bucks. And then get Final Cut Pro. And then get Logic Pro. Why are you just being ridiculous? Well, you're the one that wanted to get... Like max it out. <laughs> I'm surprised there's no option to put a screen on here. Because you get the thou the thousand dollar stand. Ooh. So we're at fifty four thousand four hundred forty seven dollars and ninety eight cents, or four thousand five hundred fifty seven dollars and thirty three cents a month. Holy crap! <laughs> oh yeah, it's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. We get that, and then we put the monitor on it. Where's the monitor? No, add it to your cart. I have to add it to the cart first. All right, let's go back. Did it save it all? Saved it all. Continue. Just make sure you're not signed in. Yeah. Oh, look. The next step is. Oh yeah. Go get your monitor. Get the nano nano textures. The six thousand mm -hmm. dollar monitor. And get it's the pro currently stand. unavailable for pickup. Pro stand, thousand dollars. Pickups not available anywhere. Big and adapter, or Vesa. Yeah, Visa. Visa. Do I need the adapter? Yeah, why not? Get both. I may mount it one day. We're at sixty-one thousand six hundred forty-four dollars and ninety-eight cents, or five thousand one hundred thirty-seven dollars and seven pennies a month for twelve, for 12 months. months. But it's a zero percent interest. Ooh. Add bag. You can buy more than one. See, I'm going to need to let you buy. Go to rev review bag. Because I think with the, the Mac, it only let me put two. That's to the left uh, in the middle. Oh. Yeah, there you go. Oh, wow, it'll let you do a lot. We're getting 10 of those. 
and pl a 10 plus of those. Well, actually, let me go higher than 10. Half a million watt. It won't let me actually put go higher than 10. Let's see. 20 monitors for my 10 computers. Yeah, and the 10 computers itself are more than half a million. <laughs> How much is that a month now? Forty-five thousand, Just $45,000 a month just for the towers. 55000 for everything. A month. If you're approved. You only owe 68000 today. Only. <laughs> or a pay in full. Uh, $734,000. To be fair, the people who would be buying this stuff like this it's probably nothing. We didn't get enough monitors or monitor stands. Oh shoot! Oh, it won't let me actually like <coughs> do. Yeah, it will. Oh, there. I just had to. Because when you hit ten plus, it lets you modify it. Like it turns it into a text area instead of a drop down. Nice. Seventy. So you got to do that with the vase mounts too. Oh, just in case I want to do. Yeah. More mounting. Seven hundred and fifty nine thousand dollars or almost. fifty almost well fifty seven thousand dollars a month for twelve months. With seventy thousand dollars up to up front. Yeah. You're right. The people that can that are doing it would do it for their reasons, but they're making movies and they're gonna make that money back. <laughs> well not right now. What do you mean? Things are being released. Things are being made. People they're do not getting as much money as they want though. Yeah. Oh that was fun. Actually, that's a good segue. Let's hear it. Wonder Woman, 1984. 1984. Being released to HBO Max. Oh, it's not even going to theaters? And. And. Theaters. The same day? Two weeks earlier, it'll be released to theaters that do not have HBO Max. For countries, you mean? It's said areas, I think. It probably means countries. Hmm. And then on December 25th, in the U.S. at least. So Christmas? Yes. It'll be released to theaters and to HBO Max. And the, the biggest one on this, I was curious about, was AMC. Okay. Because AMC was like, we will cut you off. We, they, w they did this with Universal. They're like, we will cut you off and you will. we will not show your movies. won't work with you. So they can only do that so, so much. You're right. Before it really starts hurting them. So when this was released, AMC ended up saying, we support this. The, let's see. Where was the... It's in the article. But basically, th they're in favor of it. They they have been in uh, talks with Warner Brothers. So they're probably getting a cut. Well, they they let it go to theaters. So it's not even... Oh, Yeah, so it, they, that's the other thing. Is the AMC has actually even gone like, if you release this to on-demand, it has to be in theaters. Like, the negotiation that did happen was it had to be in theaters for, and so usually it's the two weeks. They ended up getting it, no, I think it had to be like two months, and now they got it down to two weeks. This is obviously the latest thing, because those markets that don't have HBO now, or HBO Max, aren't all of AMC's. So there's a lot, especially the US type of thing. So their AMC's actually going to be competing against the on-demand, the yeah. You are a subscriber. Yes, HBO Max is the most expensive one. But I have to admit, I'm slightly interested in watching in theaters still. Well, I would probably go... So is it being released in the U.S. on the 25th, or is it two weeks before that? Two weeks before that is markets that don't get HBO Max. Okay. So if you are interested in seeing it in the theater, I would wait until after the holidays. Why? Because that's probably when you're most likely to get lots of people going. 
Yeah, they still have to wear masks. And actually, that's the thing about yeah, AMC. Yeah, but there has been like twenty cars in the parking lot for the entire theater. And I know, but I'm I'm expecting at least around the holidays because people like to extra bored. Well, one, they're extra bored, and people are still going to be hanging out, even though it's probably not ideal. I see. And so you'll just have more people there. Hmm. And, like, if there's only 20 cars, then sure, fine. Yeah. But guess we'll see. I don't know. I was I would just recommend that. I would go. Maybe. When it happens. Well, and the, uh, unlike Disney. Does it just come with a subscription? It just comes with a subscription. Oh, yeah. That was a big reason why I didn't watch Mulan. Yeah. There's other reasons, too, but that was the main one. No, that was my reason. I didn't even know any of the other politics behind it. That was my reason right there. I did not care about watching it. I was not going to pay. I was not going to spend my money on that. I did not like that at all. No. If they would have said, this is yours, kind of like if you have an Amazon account and you bought the movie, and then when you stop your Amazon Prime subscription... You get to keep your movie. Well, I might have been in on that. So how how much is a? Can you go to Amazon and look up how much a rental is? I guess Do it's not ten bucks. They vary. I think the Scooby Doo one was probably ten. I think. But I also knew what. I, I guess I. I felt like it was more hokey with. So with the Scooby Doo one, because I don't remember, you had to pay to get to watch that. And was it just a basically rental? I bought it. So I paid 25 for it. Okay. So I still have it. It's mine. You have a digital version? Yes. Yeah. Well, okay. I shouldn't say it's mine because there's that's not technically the small print of the argument is... It's not yours. You yet. don't own anything digital that you bought. You are basically leasing it. If you're dealing with games and basically anything but music. What do you mean? Because music, most of the time, if you buy it, you can get some kind of copy that is unencrypted. So oh, yeah. you can download it and have access to it and, heck, even burn it, and it's all legal. Whereas with movies, you don't usually ever, in fact, I don't think you can, <laughs> get unencrypted copies legally. There's ways to rip it, but same with uh, music videos, I think. Though, because they're on YouTube, easier to get, but whatever. Um, yeah. Don't remember why I was on that topic. Because the, you know, we didn't own. Oh, that's right, yeah. And that's one reason why I don't like. Because, like, even with the newest consoles, there's an option to go only. Like, you can get disc or discless. Mm -hmm. And it's only $100 difference. I'm If I ever do get the PS5, I will be getting the disc version. Just because I don't want, like, I don't like, I don't want a digital library. The only one I'm kind of okay with that, well, actually I am okay with it, is the PC. And that's just because, like, you can usually carry your library from PC to PC. Yeah. And even if the store goes down, as long as you have copies of it, it's generally fine. Depends on the game and depends on if it's always online, but yeah. So that's one reason why I'm okay with it. I also debated on doing it with the Switch. But I also like the idea of having those carts. And so I haven't bought anything digitally on the Switch because I like the carts. And I don't want Nintendo to get rid of that. So. Mm -hmm. I'm trying I to digital. find. I don't know. I think I'm looking in the wrong spot. Just look up uh, oh, look, Back to the Future. There's Prime Video. Look at oh, that. There you go. Yeah, do that. Rancher by. Ta da. I was, like, I was looking in their movies and I'm like, oh, that's the discs. So, in theaters, let him go. That is actually com just barely rolling out of theaters. Rent is 20 bucks. But that's for UHD. And that might be the only way to get it, actually. <laughs> oh, no, no. Don't, buy, don't rent it. I'm glad there's a. I have a check on that. <laughs> Wait, why is that only click once? That's terrible. I know. Luckily, I have a code so that I have to put in, like verify. Like, I only have click to buy turned on for but Kindle stuff. Oh. I don't have it turned on for anything, and I think that's because you have to have it on. But Yeah, you might have it on with the other stuff, but I think that's why I put the code in because I wanted to, like, uh, no. 
Hey, usually it's like a drop down. Oh, you're right. That's the only way to get it is to rent. See, and that's what Scooby Doo. <laughs> they went from rent and buy to a lot of places you could only buy it. And yeah, let's see what else. What is. about uh, do Bill and Ted? That's an older one. That's right below it. Or you can also do the New Mutants. Bill and Ted is rent or buy, six bucks to rent, fifteen to buy. Kay. That was one I actually bought. New Mutants. That one just hit disc and all that. Six bucks to rent, twenty bucks to buy. Oh, that's on there twice. Okay, you went to the one that I wasn't looking at, so it confused me. Which one were you looking at? So go. Oh, over I Bill see. Okay, yeah. Okay. So six to twenty. So rent for six, buy for twenty. Mm-hmm. So it looks like stuff that's in theaters, renting it still going to be twenty dollars. Well, ish. This thing is. I'm not even sure. Let's see. Let the informer. Rent is twenty. Buy is twenty five. And is that also in? It's in theaters? HD. Yeah, but is that also in theaters? So that's what I said. Oh. Okay. Oh, look more purchase options. So this one does have it. You're you're really wanting to buy this. Apparently. Yeah, that's the thing. You can buy it or rent it for HD for 20 bucks or rent it for SD for 20 bucks. So in other words, you just go with the higher one and it'll stream the proper one. And you can also buy it the same way too. Uh-huh. Just that's noticed. weird. I haven't seen that. I've noticed that a lot. Usually, that's why I get the UHD because if there is a difference, it's like a dollar. I'm like, yeah, I'll just get the high quality one. I mean, I would. Unless it's like a, I I have gotten like the standard or like the just below HD for like 10 bucks less sometimes. It's like, yeah. What's just below HD? Yeah, it's probably just standard in reality. I, th- I feel like there was like standard and then a little bit better and then HD and then ultra well, HD. Well, there is technically because there is 720p. It might have been. Something but like that. that's also classified as HD. Like HD and 1080p are the same. There's it's just the only difference is that there is sometimes FHD on, for 1080p stuff, but most of the time the F part's left off. There is one that is in theaters that is super cheap. Three bucks. Or seven to buy. What is this? Spontaneous. I, I saw that, but I wanted to read the... Oh. Well, it's spontaneous. <laughs> just Can't. It means just happened. <laughs> what? When students in their school begin exploding, literally. <laughs> what? But there you go. So I saw a love story in there, so I thought it was like going to be some kind of like chick flick or something. And then I saw people exploding literally. It all of a sudden became a little bit more, I'm not going to watch it still, but it became more interesting, intriguing. Seniors have to survive the struggle where in the world where each moment may be their last. So I see R. What's X-ray? Huh? Yeah, so go up n- to the name. Oh. Yeah, what's X-ray? I don't know. What's details? Right here. Does it say? No. You weren't able to click on that, were you? What? The X-ray part? No, it wouldn't let me. I wasn't able to click on any of that up there. That's weird. I want to know what it is. No clue. Maybe it's under get help, but anyways, I'll look it up while you're talking about other stuff. It says on your support devices and all those other cool things. Yeah, I have no clue about that. There, I forget what the other stuff was. All right. Well, so that's going to be a thing, and I'm actually pretty happy about it, though, with Wonder Woman. So the only thing is if I don't watch it within, like, the first week, I'm probably not going to watch it in theaters. Can't lift it up. Yes. X-Ray is an exclusive feature on Prime Video that helps members learn more about what or who they're watching. Oh. Get bios, filmographics, facts, trivia, character backstories, photo galleries, 
bonus video content, and more without pressing pause to check your phone. Yes, you actually, if you have your phone open, it actually rotates through your phone, gives you information, also gives you a little fun facts. It is kind of interesting, kind of annoying. Luckily, you don't need to pay attention to it. If you don't, like, you can just, like, hit play on the movie and walk away from it. Or if you have a, uh, anything that'll voice command your, uh, from Amazon Prime, mm-hmm. you can just... But when you're f- if your phone is open, like I've opened my phone after I've cast it, and be like, oh, yeah, there's information. Hey, that's kind of cool. And then, like, set my phone down and just ignored it the rest of the time. But if I have, like, a question about something on the screen or who's on the screen, so even nice, like, oh, that person looks familiar. What, what have they played in all this? You can be, like, quickly be like, oh, it's that person. Like, you don't have to, like, do a quick IMDB search or something weird. Yeah. So uh, that's kind of uh, that's a cool feature. Yeah. How much is Pikachu? Pikachu? Yeah, two more. Yeah, there you go. Four or eight. But you can watch free seven day eight with a uh, seven day HBO trial, or watch f- with a free seven day HBO trial. So it might be on HBO right now. That's weird. They got Supernatural too, and Free Birds. I don't know what Free Birds is. It's a movie. Super. It's for kids and family movies. Did I go the wrong way? Nope. It's right next to Pikachu. Right next to Pikachu. Oh. It's a it's a Thanksgiving movie. I figured. Next to the world's worst Christmas movie. And you can bite me on that. I don't care what anyone says. I would 100% agree with you, actually. <laughs> I right. don't like it. If, if, if everyone's wondering, it's... It's called Elf, the worst movie of all time. Yeah, people love it. I can't stand it. Yeah. Like if, it's on, if it's on TV, I'll leave. Yeah. Or just change the channel. Well, usually if it's on TV, I don't have control over it. Okay. I have lots of people who are absolutely fans. No, lots of people. No, I'm ju- I'm not into it, not even remotely. I like some of his films. That is not one of them. That is actually, I basically despise his films or uh, kind of like his films. Uh, what's the one uh, where he's hearing voices? I don't know. The but he's like he's in a somebody's writing a about his life. And that's oh, a John Favreau. That's kind of weird. I didn't realize he directed it. If you're gonna try to look up what movies he was in, good luck. I know, because he's in a lot. True. Was it Succession? Actually, okay. I'll admit, there's a new one, Downhill, kind of entertaining. I haven't seen anything. It's though. new. Dora. What? There's a Dora movie. Yes, there is. There is a Dora movie. It is... Oh, I think I knew about that, actually. Awesome. Because the girl looks familiar, at least in that outfit does. Lego movie, pretty good. I think I saw... I don't think I saw the Lego movie. I did see the Batman one, though. Pretty sure. Okay, Zoolander, I admit. But I don't think he was super main character. He was. He was definitely, like, up there. I think this is actually kind of killing me because I was like, it's like the theory of everything or something like that. You can probably Google the plot. Yeah. It's probably better and faster than clicking through Stranger Than Fiction. That's what the name of the movie is. It's called Stranger Than Fiction. Hmm. Speaking of that, slightly related, not at all, but it's, yeah. a, it's a movie at least. Yeah. Uh, what happened to that one where, um, I can't remember his name, yeah. Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds? Yeah. The the one where they're in the he's like a video game character. He's who, an NPC. Yeah, he's an NPC who's self aware, more or less. Like Did he picks up goggles, like glasses that he's not supposed to have, or something like that. So that move, yeah, they just actually they were doing, they were making fun of their release date recently on their on his TikTok page. Yes, or his Instagram. I don't know one of them. I, no, I don't think he has a TikTok. I think it's on his Instagram. And they were like, oh, yeah, it will be released. It's like for higher. I forget. You're right. Something like that. 
free guy. It's like free guy will be released. Still says twenty twenty. Yes. Well, so they're going like by Christmas. Like everyone's like stating like they have uh, basically a Zoom call. So everyone's like free guy will be released for Thanksgiving. Free guy will be released released on Christmas. Free guy released in twenty twenty. Free guy released sometime between now and the end of the universe. <laughs> that should cover it right there. Just co- that covers it. Well, no, there's also the option of it just never is released. Oh, no, this movie is being released. I have no question about that. It is basically how and when. And with Wonder Woman doing... That's that's what's been going on with the, a lot of the movies lately. Is that, like, with uh, Bond ended up pulling off because of whatever else was... Let's see, somebody else ended up releasing... Uh, is it Tencent? Yeah, Tencent. Or Tenant. Not Tenant. Ten- yeah, I'm like, not Tenant. Oh, Tencent. Ten- Tencent Tenet. is a video game company. Yes. So Tenant. Tenant, what came out, it was the big blockbuster. It was supposed to be a summer blockbuster. It was supposed to just be one of the raking in the money movies. Mm-hmm. It came out, and it did mediocre. And basically all the other movies that had an even remote chance to stand up against that movie, or even like, we're going to like skirt around its success to try to pick up money off of it. They were like, ah, uh-uh. like that's what pushed Wonder Woman off. That put what pushed Free Guy off. That's what pushed Bond off. Bond, I don't even think it has an official date yet. Wonder Woman, at least they move forward with a the concept. They're like, this movie has to come out. We have stuff we're doing. We have a Batman movie in production that we need to release here soon, and we can't have Wonder Woman movie still waiting to be released because it probably has stuff that is going to be referred to in the Batman movie. Or they could just not release it and make everybody confused. Yeah. Because that's happened before. With movies, I'm not saying with them. Yeah. Because I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, train of thoughts, bye-bye. Choo-choo. So, but yeah, free guy. Will he released? I have no question about that. Absolutely none. Oh, I remember. Um, are you, I'm afraid there's too much hype on it. Because you know how stuff gets really hyped and then... True. But it I doesn't meet expectations. I feel like, which is why Half Life Three will never get released. Yeah, I feel like that is the thing with movies this year. Like watching the trailer for, Probably. I don't remember what it was. New Mutants was that like that for you? I knew I, about it years ago. Like I knew about this while Fox was still, you know, Fox. while it was still under Fox. Yeah, before Disney bought, I knew this movie was happening. I the movie was done wrapped up when F- Disney bought Fox, so that's how long that movie's been sitting there. I've known about the movie, I was excited about it, I was interested in it, and like that, it's a perfectly mediocre movie. It's a perfect C. It's not terrible. It's not great. It's just okay, and that is terrible for a movie, and mm-hmm. that means it'll never get a sequel. It was supposed to be a trilogy, but that's what basically all X Men films are. They're all supposed to be trilogies in some way, type, shape, or form. And then they don't do too well. Well, only the third one of the trilogies. I don't know. Wolverine's been doing pretty good, hasn't it? Does it have three movies? It's got at least two. Well, I guess the first one was the terrible one, so I guess that's fair. Was it? With Deadpool with his mouth shown up, sewn up? The t- with, when the CG one leaked out and it was just like steps below what the movie actually was? So what I'm thinking of is, I don't feel like it was that old, because there the newest one I think that came out is there's a old uh, Luke Luke Picard, <laughs> no uh, Xavier, yeah Xavier, yeah Patrick Stewart, yeah Patrick Stewart. It's got old of him, and then there's one before that that I thought was somewhat new. Maybe I'm incorrect though. Yeah, so first class. The, okay. Or Origins? I don't know. The one I'm thinking of is he started out in like the Civil War or whatever. He had the s- still the bone style, like, uh, what are those even called? Scythes? Skewers? Whatever, the thing that goes out of his knuckles. I don't know what to call them. He still had the bone versions of those. And then in that same movie, 
they went over how he got them coded in andamite or andamedium or whatever it is. Yeah. He got them coded in metal and that's what that's how he is now. Like that's what the iconic part of that is now. And because of that, I think in the newest movie, isn't it slowly killing him? <laughs> Actually it always has been. That's okay. the only reason he doesn't regenerate. Yes. You are so talking about the, the metal movie. is okay. X Men Origins Wolverine is that terrible, uh, terrible X Men movie. I liked it, but I was also when did this come out? Two thousand nine? Okay. I was a little younger then. Okay. Not that much younger, but you know, an impressionable ninth tenth grader? So I guess the okay. So Wolverine did the opposite. It came out with its bad movie, then came out with the Wolverine with the Yakuza. What was and that Delta. one then? The Wolverine? Yeah, 2013. This is the one where... Oh, the one you just clicked into. Yeah. Oh, I thought it said 2009. Which one are you looking at? Oh, are you probably talking about the other one? No, the original was 2009. Yeah, I thought so that's, that's the one you were talking about. No, so the first one was terrible. The 2009 one was terrible. Or okay. it, was, it wasn't good. Let's go with that. The Wolverine 2013... It was better. Okay, that's the one I was talking about. That's the one where he goes into he's in like with the Yakuza and all that. No, when he gets his medal on his his mm-hmm. that's in the that is in at Wolverine Origin. I don't know, man. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm also I, I what I'm meaning by that is I don't remember anything. So like he meets the Yakuza in this, he, he a conspiracy involving the Yakuza and the mutants. Goes to Japan. I don't remember the Japan part. It's like a it's, a it's a little bit better movie. It's not a whole lot. And then there's Logan. The best of them all. Like Wolverine's actually imp- the the Wolverine movies actually improved over the time. Which one's Logan? The old man Logan where it's like super old man Xavier. Xavier who is Oh, that was that movie? Yeah, the okay. Xavier who's losing his mind, but yeah. he's a mental mutant, which is a bad thing to yep. do. And then that's why they had him out in the middle of nowhere. So you couldn't hurt anyone. Yeah. Yeah, that part, ma- that movie was, that made me sad. Because that's, yeah. Poor guy. Yeah. Old man Logan. Oh, okay, that was, that was only. 2017? Uh, it's been like three years. Yeah. My concept of time is so bad. Oh, don't worry about it. It's all right. That's, I, I've learned to like either base it off of base top hot popular events. That's my life. What I've popular learned. event has there been this year, though? Notable. <laughs> Fires. Started the year, ending the year. Fires. Okay, I actually didn't even remember that part. <laughs> Cause I, I don't. I know. Maybe we'll just let you know. Actually, I won't even care about any of the numbers or anything. We'll go fires. We go. Uh, oh wait, um, uh, killer wasps are on. A, uh, oh, a murder comeback. hornets. Murder hornets. They're 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 back. Oh, they're back. They're back. They're back in the news at least because Washington or Oregon is getting ways to uh, uh, wipe them out a lot more. So they're actually saving the bees. They're an invasive species, right? But absolutely, freaking lootly. Yeah, they're from China, aren't they? I don't remember where they're from. Let's see. What else we got? Uh, there was uh, economy jumping up and down. There was presidential elections. There was the Rona. There was stay home. There was learn businesses learn how that they can have their employees work from home and. That got forced to do the beta testing after all the arguments of it's not worth it. So the Rona thing I was thinking was uh, still ongoing. Technically so is the fires and so is the murder hornets. And so is the economy. Well, the, the economy is always like that. But <laughs> like the Rona is the event. Like it is an event. What I'm curious about is so if YouTube's still around in like five to ten years, yeah, people are gonna be able to date like even without uh, looking at the timestamp of when the video was made, just because most people like especially if they're like Solinus Tech Tips, they film like 
they're working at their office now. A lot of them are, but yeah. they all have like masks on and stuff. So you'll have like someone who's doing like a product demo. They don't have their mask on, but then you'll have someone else that comes up near them. Yeah. And they do because they're not on. They're not being filmed. Yeah. And so you'll just see that or. Well, so there's that. And that's the thing is like art. Oh, I forgot the other stuff. I don't know why I can't believe that. Uh, the Black Lives that Matter movement. There's just, I think it's because so much stuff happened. This there's just, there's, there's so. I think I just kind of like was hitting back and forth. Like, but the, the that was, you know, those are the equal rights. Uh, there was just so much with that. I know. I'm just like we're. Uh, I'm doing. I'm breaking all of my normal podcast rules. I don't even normally care. We're doing. We're just talking about these things right at the end of the episode. <laughs> yeah. So, I, I think a lot of it is just that. At least with me, I haven't been watching the news that much because it like when the lockdowns first started. That's all I did, and it made me very, very, very anxious. So I stopped looking. I and I probably like the big events that I do know just mesh together because. Yeah, I only know those couple of things, and nothing else notable's happened in my life, and so I have no point of reference for when stuff happens. Yeah, is that? Was he? Well, let's see. So I also had listened to podcasts to give me like snippets of news, so that's good. I don't have to like, I don't get the super like depressed part of it because I'll admit it even messed with me. I actually am not a big fan of watching the news in the morning because I'm like, oh, I'm sad, and now I get to go to work, and depends like, on the news. Yeah. I guess if they talk about certain stuff, like too local long. news is pr- not that bad usually. Yeah, it, it varies. Depends it, on the segment you're watching. Yeah, it might be. And how much time they spend on it. Like, I can usually knock out like a 30 minute to an hour long segment of news in like five to 10 minutes on podcasts mm-hmm. I listen to. And sometimes I get a couple of those. I get way more, you know, specialized. That's the nice thing about podcasts. You can specialize into the certain things. And then also, you're talking about that art mimics events and life. Yeah, culture. Yeah. So that's, you know, we were with that. There is Superstore. Oh, super Superstore? S- Superstore is the... Superstore. It's basically Walmart. Like, employee, you're following wa- employees of Walmart. They're Cloud9, but it's basically Walmart employees. You're following Walmart employees. Superstore? You haven't seen Superstore? Oh. I haven't seen it. It does sound familiar now. When you said people on Walmart, I thought you were talking about those old, like... No. YouTube videos no. from like no. 2010. Not no. Which I used to think was really funny at the time, but now I would probably hate it. Yeah, okay. They are literally like I dealing know. with the. Uh, and this is something that NBC, like a lot of their shows are. I was very, very impressed and su- surprised and impressed that NBC went all in on current events. So Superstore ended up like covering tons of stuff. The, this is the uh, This is Us covered a just quick like in the first episode just brought everybody right up to present Grey's Anatomy they're doing a split time period or a split time so there'll be events that happened when the season ended last se- or last last season ended that they were because they they landed on cliffhangers mm. they had landed on some big old cliffhangers so they're wrapping those up but they're in the middle of the pandemic right now. So yeah. they are actually are hitting both time periods where they're like, we can wrap things up. Like if it wouldn't have been, a, if this wouldn't have been such a major life event that they, you know, obviously this affects doctors and Seattle. Yeah. There's so much with this. And also the owner of the hospital is a rich black lady. Hmm. Yeah. So she's even, they're even to bring up that. So like this is, and the person that runs it, it's it, Yeah. It or it's oh it's so much it's just yeah they they're doing a I feel like they're doing a great job with it. Uh, this is us where it's, you know one that the son is adopted is a a black guy. Have you ever seen This Is Us? I haven't seen it. The title sounds familiar, but I don't remember why. And it's this is one where they bounce time zones between the parents, the children, and the grandchildren. But so the the three people at the top, I mm-hmm. guess the the lady. So this is the parents, and then okay, sister, brother. You've watched it, adopted brother. You guys have watched it, right? Yes. Okay, I think I have seen an episode or two. Yeah, I have, because she she looks familiar. Yeah, yeah. I, 
I've seen an episode or two of this, but only one of you guys were watching it, so uh-huh. I haven't watched it. It's really interesting. So they they are, they're covering multiple time periods where they cover like the eighties because these kids were born in eighty, uh, like they just had their fortieth birthday. Oh okay. Yeah. So they they have so the so there are the parents with the eighties. There's the current events, and they actually have even stepped into the future, like about twenty thirty years with the new generation of children growing up and doing s- they they haven't really like gone too much into it because obviously we don't we can't really like they're not trying to sci-fi it or they're not trying to like do too much with it but they I think they do a good job. So it's, it's not like iRobot where it's 20 years in the future and everything's different. Yeah, they're they more like skirt around like th- there's just like oh this person's going to grow up and be a musician and they're at a concert and a concert is a normal thing that is probably not going to evolve too much over time. So people are at a concert, and then obviously runners happen. So that might that might change, but that's uh, a totally different story. <laughs> I think it'll still be people will still go to concerts. There'll be stuff that'll go back to normal. It's just going to take a couple of years, and then you'll have stuff that is forever changed and won't go back to the way it was before, which is fine. You know what that's called? Ways. What's that? The new normal. Or, I don't know. That's a sh- the new normal. What's that? That's what everyone's calling the stuff. It, this is the working from home. It's the I new s- normal. Is that not a show? I feel like that's a show. Let's see. There is a show called I was the right, new normal. yay! You were right. I haven't seen it. I don't even know why I know about this, but... It's a U.S. comedy from Glee and American Horror Story creator Ryan Murphy. Mm. Oh, okay. Weird. From 2012 to 2013. Weird. It's a British show. Huh. Yeah, there's a lot of like pretty famous people in this show. And it All didn't right. get very good ratings. Yeah. yeah. Just because they're famous doesn't mean it's good. Yeah, we, I've seen that time and time again. So, I feel like I had famous last words, but I totally forgot what they were. So, do you have anything? Uh, no. I really wish I could remember what it was. I guess I won't worry about it. With that, everyone have a happy Turkey Day. And hope you had a happy Turkey Day if you're in the U.S. If you're in Canada, hope your happy Turkey Day was great but last month. And If you're anywhere else, uh, stay safe. Stay safe. Stay happy. Stay well. Stay fed. Wash stay your warm. hands. Stay warm.